Hello friends, I'm Colonel Foyer and this is Train Sim World 2020 and uh, we're on the Northern Trans Pennine route uh, where today we're, we're going to be spinning this, uh, this Class 45 up the rails rather majestically in the rain. It is of course the 1980s. Uh, I shall put on some, uh, some electro pop music when the, uh, when the need arises. Uh, we'll leave the door open obviously because, uh, you know, ventilation makes you smarter. There you go. I like my control soggy, and that's how we're going to. Uh, that's how we're going to do that. Right, where are my wipers? I don't want to do them manually. I'll be honest. Some kind of auto wiping would probably be would probably be grand here. Anyway, I've got to get going because we're uh, we're hauling passengers, and therefore we've got a timetable to stick to. Uh, let's uh, set the reverser on the old forwards there, and. Uh, release all the brakes and apply the power yeah well this is my first time in here so so give me a give me a tick I'll uh, I'll figure out the uh, the necessary whatnots as the need arises now the one thing we should note about the uh, the trans Pennine uh, magic route is the hold on fire alarm test so to work I, I mean I, I would imagine the better way to test that would be to set fire to something uh, anyway power up let's uh, let's be having you uh, we'll go with about, it's, it's quick off the mark, isn't it? But that will be because we've got a 1% downgrade hill, grade down woods, grade hill. I'm pretty sure that's the manual wiper. Uh, have we got some have it cab light? Thank you. Good, that's helpful. What else we got? Nose light, definitely. Uh, lighting, we'll turn the engine room lights uh, to trip. Uh, we'll put the cab heater on because it's raining. Yeah, give me all the heaters. Uh, headlight switch. Yeah, that's on. Spare switch, we'll leave that alone. Tail light, no, that's fine. Tail light's also fine. Can't see a chuffing thing, uh, but I'm sure the blind will help with that. See, look, American trains, that's how you do a sun visor, except, of course, the sun can get over the top of it, which is perfect. Wipers. What, uh, have we got automatic wipers? I, I'm not so certain that we have uh, instrument lights. Let's turn those on. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got 800 and some odd yards. We're going through a tunnel, uh, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the intro thing, and then I'll catch you out the other side of the tunnel. <laughs> All right, we're coming in a smidge hot. Uh, doing well. Uh, well, we're doing 30ish in, in, in a 15, but that, but that's okay. It's just going to mean mean that we arrive in a fairly punctual fashion. Uh, leave the straight brake alone. Leave the straight brake alone. Set the drive. We're no, we're we're miles away. There. I mean, we we fair rattled into the uh, into the station initially, uh, but uh, we need to be a little bit further along. So uh, so I'll uh, I'll dredge us along a little further. Um, wiper fans, I'm still no closer to uh, to ascertaining wiper controls here. Maybe my ponytailed friend there could uh, could give us a point. No, she's not interested. All right, well, uh, that's just life then, isn't it? We've got 160... Hold on, what are we... What? What? Wait for it. We've got a green light. A dirt. Do you just want me to keep going? Is is that it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, fair, fair enough then, I suppose. Um, we're not actually stopping here. All right. Okay. Well, well, so be it. We'll, we'll just crack on then, I suppose. Um, I, 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 this, that's easy enough. I'm somewhat perplexed. It's it's unusual to be going this slowly and not have to close the door uh, and not have to uh, and not have to stop. But uh, I'm not going to complain. What do we got going on here? Brake selection, cab light off, cab light on, cab light off, cab cab light on. Why not? Uh, right. Okay. Still got a 15 mile per hour speed limit at the moment because we are hauling coaches. When I feel a little more confident about the uh, the situation we currently find ourselves in. I'll uh, I'll show you exactly what the scoop is as far as this uh, this train is concerned. I uh, can't see a chuffing thing out of the window. Why is me why are my wipers not working? Look, I, I, that's the manual wiper handle. I'm fairly certain of it. Uh, moving the blind has given me no further access to anything at all. Uh, right, we've got a 40 mile an hour limit now, so we can we can up the tempo a touch. Which we will do, and then we'll go and have a look around, shall we? So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the, the the beast of the day, and uh, and it is it is heaving it down with rain. 
Um, this is uh, a class 45, obviously, and uh, and then you've got uh, you've got a fair slew of uh, of intercity coaches that we're we're taking on a merry journey. We can up the tempo a bit more here. Uh, turn, the, give us give us plenty of throttle. Uh, we're going downhill as well. But yeah, no, make them feel it. We're going places. There we go, marvellous. Uh, right, I should probably let the passengers know exactly what we're up to. Hi passengers, uh, this is your uh, captain speaking. Today, we are taking a trip to Leeds. It might not be what you wanted, but it is what you've got. And uh, the weather might be awful, but I've powered up all of the heaters in the cab, so I'm feeling particularly toasty. Uh, there aren't any heaters in the carriages that you're sat in, of course. There are only those loud electrical things that make a bad smell. Don't make it any hotter, but they do smell bad, so that's something. Anyway, our next stop is could be anywhere uh, in the north of England, and therefore you should be ready for that. Uh, I'll talk to you as soon as we're approaching somewhere, if anybody ever tells me where we're going. Right, I, 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 the only thing I do know is that, uh, is that we're heading for Leeds. Uh, but uh, but in what fashion are we heading for Leeds? Well, in the rain is, is the way that we're heading for Leeds. Uh, the wipers don't work. Classic British rail. Uh, but uh, everything's good. No, these unsubtle signs are, are giving me no additional uh, no additional information there. Um, no, I got no additional information at all. We're just going to have to we're just going to have to sit on it. Release overcharge. Ah. We're going to stop in Huddersfield at uh, five minutes ago. Right you are then. Five minutes ago? I barely dawdled today. I I got a wriggle on. To quite a high degree. I think it's a bit, I don't think it's, uh, it's a bit mischievous to uh, to not let me uh, be on time for my first mission here. I, I do quite enjoy the uh, being pushed along by the front of the train camera. There you go, we can sit on there, look. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're fair rocketing along. Don't stand too close to the platform edge. I'm coming through, bridge. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, well, it's only, uh, this is the business. Let's, uh, let's get an action shot here to, uh, to conjure the imagination or something. Uh, there you go. That's, that's your imagination conjured. Right, I should probably take control of the situation a little now. We've got to stop in a minute. Let's, let's throttle off. Uh, now, I've uh, given that this is my, my first rodeo with this particular consist. Um, I've got no real clue as to uh, what our braking capability is. Uh, also, I don't know where... Uh, hold on. Why have we got an objective marker 2.6 miles behind us? Do we think we went through the station that we were supposed to stop at? Yes. Yes, we do. Oh... Oh, I see what's happened here. Right, well, we want to succeed. Um, so, uh, so I might have to... Uh, oh, we're going too fast here. This is going to hurt. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, we got through that without any problem at all. The passengers would have flipping loved it as well. We're going to be, we're going to be very on time for the next stop. I should slow down, I think. No, well, no, let's, let's speed up. I've already hosed this. I didn't stop at the station. Give it the beans. Let's uh, let's see what we get here. Yeah, the peril, the peril. Ah, uh, here we go. Right, we've got an 80 mile an hour limit coming up in 600 yards. But will we still be in a position to make that 80 mile per hour limit, given that we are going very fast in a 50 limit without any without any adverse effects? As to be said. Oh, we've got a point section here. How are we doing? Straight through, no derailments. British power, and so on. Well, I see. I think we're. Uh, I think we're really pushing the envelope about now. There you go through a, through a signal. No, never mind doing it properly. We're just going to go. All right. Okay. New mission. How fast can we get this class 45 before the game trips us up in some fashion? We've got a 45 limit there. So I think that's the uh, that's the end of the road. Release and overcharge all the brakes even more. Uh, give it a hooter. Beautiful. Up to 85. Uh, I've seen a warning sticker somewhere that says the max speed is 95. Oh no, that was in my training train. 
uh, this one has no such compulsion. This is, this is quite happy to, uh, to go as fast as you'll let it. And I'm going to let it go very fast. In fact, I'm going to encourage it to go as fast as it possibly can. There you go, look at that. Yes. In the rain. Don't care. Anyone looking nervous in the back? No, they're loving it to bits. It is the 1980s after all. Safety was just a thing that, uh, that some, some clown had imagined at this point. Uh, we haven't imagined it. We're, uh, we're for reals. We're, we're doing it live. All right, we're coming up. We're doing double the speed limit. If there's an adventure to be had, it's going to happen pretty soon. And uh, if we're very lucky, modern pop stars will uh, we'll record a charity single after I make a mess of this. Everyone's still in line. It's all perfect. We're going to get to Leeds in record time. And I'll tell you, my, my, uh, my frequent travellers, my, uh, my commuters, they're going to be like, why can't we take this all the time? I didn't want to stop in Huddersfield anyway. Why would anyone want to stop in Huddersfield? Well, there's, there's a question. Uh, largely answerable only by those who do want to stop in Huddersfield, of which I am not one. Uh, no, I've got nothing against her. I've not ever been to Huddersfield. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the booster turbine is properly rocking it. We are getting this done in record time. We've got a 50 coming up. That's okay. I'm not too bothered about that. We just went through a 45 and we didn't fall off the track, so that's all good. This could be exciting. Let's have a look. Going through. Platform. Yeah. I wonder if, if that was one of our stops that we were going to make. But I haven't. Don't really know. We're still uh, we're still on mission. And showing very little sign of, uh, of fatigue. And that's because everything about this train is heavy. Uh, you're really going to need an act of God to get it to fall off the track. And I'm doing my best. Uh, but, uh, no, just, uh, just keep the hammer down and Get us go no, we're going. No, Huddersfield is where we didn't stop. Oh, you see, we're going to Leeds. This is a Leeds service for Leeds people. If you like Leeds, you're going the right way about it. I'm going to park there and demand the prize, and uh, it would do well to give me the prize. I bet I still get some points as well because uh, the new scoring system in Train Sim World 2020 is uh, is far more forgiving than the old one that just went like, oh, you went half a mile under the speed limit. Mission failed. Can I go? No, not mission failed. Mission flipping succeeded. Now, it could also be that I'm now moving fast enough that the rain can't touch me. Which is promising. How's it look in the cab? Still a bit rainy, but ultimately, uh, we're, uh, we're getting the job done. Uh, we're slowing down a bit because we've got a bit of an uphill grade going on. But that's okay. I, to be honest, I would have thought with the momentum that we already have and the beans that I am applying to this service that, uh, that we'd be golden. But, uh, but evidently that is not the case. It's a 60 mile an hour limit, this, you know. It just goes to show that the, uh, the limits are imposed by, uh, by people without any real spirit of adventure. I've got all the spirit of adventure. See, look, she looks calm. In fact, uh, I can't... Let's, uh, let's release the vacuum chamber. Yeah. Is the vacuum chamber released? Did that give us any more, uh, any more oomph? That's going for a wonder. Everything seems to be under control. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Uh, we've got a handle. It's very loud in here. Uh, let's test the fire alarm. Boom shakalaka. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's... That's good. Yeah, get the, get the window open. No wonder we're making heinous... Oh, yeah. Element of danger. Uh, the lavvy's locked up again. Can't really see much other than the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, for all of us. Uh, so the handbrake is released, but that's, that's good. There's a fire extinguisher. What buttons have you got? You've got the F-dimmer switch. Well, turn that on. Oh, crikey. We've been running all this time without the F-dimmer switch on. Oh, no wonder we're... But yeah, put the D-Mister on as well. Uh, the horn. Beautiful. Uh, wipers! Run the wipers! How is it you've got a wiper and I haven't? What's that noise? Didn't sound healthy. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Have I got a wiper switch here? It's there, look. It was the one thing you, you basically didn't look at. And then you can trap your hand in here and have an accident at work. That's what unions were invented for. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's crack on. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. We're now 11 miles past Huddersfield. To be honest, I think if you're on board this train wanting to go to Huddersfield, you might have come to the conclusion at this point that we're not stopping at Huddersfield today. No, we haven't overshot now. We have purposefully ignored it. Um, I would have thought people from Huddersfield would be used to that. But, uh, but there it is. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's do this. It's not really the sound that trains make, but uh, it felt appropriate nonetheless. Get shoved along the track a little bit. This is, uh, this is rather good. Um, I, mean, I don't mean to say that, like, you know, this is the, uh, the experience as it should be. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, you have to be uh, you have to be trying to complete your objectives if you want any points or whatnot. But uh, but frankly, once in a while, it's quite good fun just to rip it and see what happens. All right, we are now doing one hundred. Come on, we're one hundred miles per hour, uh, which is the top of the speedometer, and we're doing it in a sixty. We're doing one hundred and one. And the passengers may start screaming anytime soon because I'm not confident that we can uh, we can hold this together for much longer. It's because we've got the downhill going with us. It's a 25 mile an hour limit coming up in a mile. Am I going to slow down? No, because I want to see what happens. Uh, we're going to fail. I know that much, but because uh, you want to see what happens too, don't you? Yes, you do. You want to see what happens when a class 45 doing 100 plus miles per hour uh, goes through a 25 mile per hour limit. Uh, I would imagine that that 25 mile per hour limit is there because of some points and things. Right, there we go. We're going through and snaked it perfectly. Business, good. Oh, we went through a red signal. Well, that's a little disappointing. Oh. Uh, well, that's... I, I didn't clock the red signal. All I clocked was the, the speed limit that slowed down. That's a shame. Oh. Right, there you go. That's your lot. No, no, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'll take another swing at this one next week. Because um, I'll do it properly that time. But uh, that was fun. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with some pictures of a train driving quite fast. Cheerio! Now then, for those of you who ever visit the front page of my channel, you'll be well aware that it says in rather large and friendly letters that you're playing it wrong. Now that could be something that you're saying directed at me, or it could be something I'm saying directed at you. And this video really rather demonstrates that there is no such thing as playing it wrong. Uh, if you get some satisfaction out of whatever you play with, you're playing it right. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, well, you're playing it right. If your fun doesn't come at the cost of somebody else's enjoyment of the thing, then uh, then you're doing it splendidly already. Don't let, don't let them tell you how to play. Don't let them. No, do it your own way. Have a good time. Uh, tickle your biscuits a little bit, and, uh, and, and then everything's, everything's good. I don't know what tickling biscuits means. Sounds like a very filthy uh, euphemism. Well, I assure you it isn't, or if it is, I just made it up and uh, and have blundered into filthy youth, 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 euthanism? Euthanism territory. Uh, so there you go. But yeah, no, do things the way you wish to do them that derive satisfaction from therein you get. And so I'm out of material. I'm, I'm off. I'll, I'll catch you next time.